Hi Capricorn, this is your June 12th uh, through June 18th uh, weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll be looking at existing love in a relationship or marriage. Then I'll do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first one is a new love uh, this week. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Two of Swords. We have Temperance. We have the Moon clarified by the Chariot. In the potential outcome we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles and uh, the Six of Wands. And we also have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with uh, Sagittarius. Pisces, uh, Cancer, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This is a very specific reading, uh, Capricorn. I, I honestly don't know how many people this will re <laughs> resonate with, but here's the deal. You're going to be meeting this person in a group. Okay, you, The two of you are going to be a part of the same group. It could be a group of friends, or it could be a group of uh, people who are healing from something. Okay, Perhaps um, both of you are healing from something. I'm not uh, predicting you having to heal from something that's going to happen. If this is your story, whatever you're healing from is already has already happened. All right. Or perhaps both of you are gonna stop um, drinking, and you could be in a AA group. I'm just I'm just being honest with you. That's what I see. For some of you, it could be that, or it could be some kind of a counseling group. Okay, where a group of people get together, they sit in a circle, and they share their story, and uh, that's how you're going to be meeting this person. Or it could be a group of friends. Perhaps both of you have similar, exp like very recent experience. Something came to an end, and uh, both of you have the same story to share. I hope that makes sense, Capricorn. If you're still listening, if you're still watching this, then here, here's the deal. All right, yeah, that's what happened or about to happen. The Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, it's a card of a group of people <laughs> collaborating or just doing something together. And uh, we actually start with the uh, Ten of Swords clarified by the Two of Swords and Temperance. Those three cards are talking about the same thing, healing from some kind of an ending. Or, um, again, if um, both of you had a problem drinking, using, gambling, you know, both of you are meeting in that group. Right, the Ten of Swords clarified by the, ten, by the Two of Swords, something is about to come to an end, or already came to an end, all right? And uh, perhaps with the Two of Swords, both of you are going to say, no, no more. The Two of Swords is a no more card, right? That's one of the interpretations of that card. So no more drinking, no more using. <laughs> or perhaps you, both of you have the same story, right? Perhaps both of you just recently got out of some kind of a relationship or marriage, and it came to a screeching halt. It was very painful, and both of you are still healing from that. Temperance, the next card over, is a card of healing. All right, it's also a card of patience. All right, then we have the moon clarified by the chariot. The moon could be a uh, Pisces you're dealing with, the chariot could be um, a Cancer you're dealing with, but the, the, the chariot is a card of victory and success. The six of ones right next to the deck in the potential outcome is also a card of uh, victory and success. So both of you are going to be. Um, you know, recovering from this, or both of you will help each other recover, and who knows, maybe that's how this uh, relationship starts. The Moon is a very emotional card, right? It's one of the most emotional cards in the deck, it's a Pisces card as well, right? But uh, both of you are gonna, you know, snap out of it through healing, through nurturing, through helping each other out, and things like that. In the potential outcome we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles and that Six of Wands that I was just talking about. The Six of Wands, by the way, is not only a victory and success card, it's also a card of a proposal. Back in the day it used to be called the proposal card. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the first card in there, that would be you. <laughs> I hope, I think that's a fair assumption. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment of marriage. You never know where you're going to meet your person. You never do. If uh, you're in a group of people this week, then that's where you're going to be meeting this person. I hope that makes sense, Capricorn. But uh, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment or marriage. Rock solid commitment or marriage, as a matter of fact. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together. 
Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy their financial abundance, financial stability together. So a very interesting, very specific story, Capricorn. You either recently broke up with somebody or um, got a divorce, it was an ugly breakup or an ugly divorce, and then they went through the same thing, or both of you are in a group of people uh, getting help constantly. I hope that makes sense. But the outcome, but the uh, potential outcome is amazing. You guys are, both of you are going to heal from this. Both of you are going to conquer this, kick it to the curb, and things like that. All right. <laughs> yeah. Really happy for you, Capricorn. Congratulations. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. Uh, we have uh, the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Fool. We have the Hangman, the Knight of Swords, and the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, we also have Aries and uh, Virgo on the table. To be or not to be, that is going to be the question. But in, for most of you, it's going to be to go or not to go, to act or not act on upon something and the uh, answer is most likely going to be to go <laughs> or to be or to act right we start off with the two of pentacles this is a card of weighing pros and cons looking at options thinking do i want to go or not or looking at two different um like vacation destinations or something like that right and uh, the full clarifying that is a card of uh, taking a risk taking a leap of faith all right, so yeah, it is going to be a little bit risky, a, a little bit uh, taking leap of faith-ish. But um, yeah, uh, the hangman, the next card over is a card of stagnation, nothing happening. So you're going to be sitting in this energy for a while, or you have been uh, sitting in this decision-making process for a while. And the hangman is also a card of like uh, an epiphany. All right, so perhaps you will have a light bulb moment and uh, that light bulb moment will give you the answer. The magician on the bottom of the deck, perhaps it's another person who is also involved, right? It could be your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Perhaps they really want this, they're manifesting this. Or it could be you. It could be um, like a lawyer, it could be a travel agent, it could be um, a real estate agent who is also a part of this equation, right? Somebody whom you can hire or consult on, on this matter. And uh, the Knight of Swords, the last card that came out, uh, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with, uh, but the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights. Knight of Swords is pure action or going somewhere, all right? So I think the uh, at some point during the week, you will figure it out, right? And uh, you will either go, to that destination or one of the destinations or at least you will start planning the trip or you will start taking action right now that you have your answers now that you know what you want um, you're gonna take action I hope that makes sense all right cool let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Capricorn this week keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X uh, we have uh, the king of ones clarified by the page of swords uh, we have the three of ones clarified by the page of cups we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Lots of children. <laughs> Perhaps you already have children with this person. Or both of you had children from uh, previous uh, marriages. Right? Because uh, you see the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, those are kids. And uh, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck, there's also actually a couple of kids. So perhaps children are somehow a part of this uh, equation. Alright? Perhaps it's one of your kids' birthday party and uh, you want to invite them or they want to invite you just for the good old time's sake or something like that okay and um, yeah um, but if we want to stay general if children are not a part of this uh, situation then uh, the page of swords I find the king of wands is a card of stalking so they even though the two of you are no longer together they've been keeping an eye on you right with that page of swords um, and uh, the page of cups uh, this is them deciding to reach out to you. The three of wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a final decision and after that there is no turning back. And uh, with the Page of Cups, yeah, they, they are reaching out to you, apologizing to you, and um, you know, they want to catch up with you and see what you've been up to. And the Six of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection, it's also a card of somebody coming back from the past. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, yeah, they hope to restart a cycle with you. It's a major arcana card. It's the only major arcana card on the table. 
Um, I don't know how you're going to handle this, but uh, I, I think there's going to be a conversation. And based on that, you will decide whether you want to uh, spin the wheel with the Wheel of Fortune or not. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Capricorn, this week. Uh, we have the Eight of uh, Wands. We have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Ace uh, of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I don't think Zodiac signs really matter. Um, the Seven of Swords, the, seven of, uh, the second card that came out, is not a very honest card. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. The Seven of Swords could be a card of a deception, a lie, or somebody perhaps being very creative, quote-unquote, right? Uh, for some of you, the Seven of Swords, say you've got an offer coming your way, a job offer, because I do see at least one offer coming your way. But perhaps... Uh, with the Seven of Swords, uh, your existing employer counts on you to be there, to finish a project or to just be there, help out, because they count on you. They could have paid for your education or something like that. So the new offer is really, really good. And in order for you to accept it, you will have to, you know, run away. You will have to quit before that project is over. You will have to quit now and uh, your existing employer will have to scramble because they don't have uh, you anymore, and they really counted on you. Something among those lines. You may have two offers on the table, all right? And uh, you may start a bidding war between those two companies, right? You And the one will be counter-offering the other, and that's how the Seven of Swords could play out. For others of you, perhaps you're keeping it a secret. Whatever new beginning, whatever this job you have, coming your way, you're keeping it a secret. You're just not telling anybody, perhaps because um, it will make you a lot of money and you don't want anybody to steal the idea from you. So something among those lines, something murky, something fishy, but at the same time, I think it'll make you a lot of money in the future. Okay, uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, which is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. You see that right next to the deck, one Ace clarified by another? That's a fantastic combo. This barely ever happens. And the Knight of Pentacles, clarifying the Seven of Swords, yeah, this is long term. This is a, a really decent chunk of change that's on the line here. All right? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're going to do. There is no major arcana cards, but uh, just keep in mind that you may have to either run away or keep it under the rubs or there's going to be a little twist to the story for, with that Seven of Swords. All right, but at the end, of the, at the end of the day, I think you will make a lot of money. All right, the six of ones on the bottom of the deck is also part of victory and success. All right, so let me know what's going on if it's not too big of a secret. <laughs> well, I promise I won't tell anybody. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Capricorn, this week. We have uh, the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Cups, and the Fool on the bottom of the deck. I believe this is a repeat of the work, business, and finances spread we just had um, pre prior to this spread. Same story, different cards, different deck. Okay, you have an offer coming your way, that Ace of Pentacles, right? That could potentially make you a lot of money. For some of you, it just occurred to me, you know how there's billionaires? We have some billionaires who originally used to work for another company and then they split off and started their own business doing something similar that they, the company they worked for. I think uh, uh, Ferrari and Lamborghini, that's, that's how Lamborghini started their own business or something like that. So it could be one of those. So perhaps you become a billionaire in the future and uh, you're going to send me a check. <laughs> I'm kidding, but um, you know. Um, anyway, yeah, I think this is the same uh, story as the work, business, and finance. You have an offer coming your way that could make you a lot of money. That's going to be something long-term. and But the trick is you will have to... Uh, walk away or run away or keep it under wraps or some kind of a there's a twist to this story right the five of swords with the eight of cups uh, the last two cards this is you walking away from perhaps one of the offers or your existing employer right the fool on the bottom of the deck um, on the bottom yeah 
is a card of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. Alright, so yeah, that's what's on the line. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense. So think about it, decide what you want to do, and uh, send me that check later. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Anyway, that's what I have for you, uh, Capricorn, for this reading for this um, week. If this video resonates with you, please uh, like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week.